Yeah, I think like you said, it's a demoralizing result, but um, you know, it's 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 gut wrenching. But I think uh, a lot of the guys, and myself included, will will learn from this, and uh, you know, we'll get better from it. Um, it's a young group out there. A lot of guys, you know, first first minutes of the season, and I think uh, we'll, we'll all learn from uh, you know just how to how to get better and how to kind of understand these environments and and uh, get over the hump. Next, you had Anthony on Zoom. Hey, Sean, um, what, what is it about Gillette Stadium that just seems to bug the Red Bulls over the years? You played in this place a few times. Is there something specific or is it just something that now is kind of seeped into the heads of the players? I don't think it's anything specific. I think, yeah, it's a, it's a tough place to play. Um, I think anybody that comes up here, it's it's a different environment, you know, with the turf field and the, and the big windy stadium. But, I mean, you got to get used to it. That's 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 life as a pro. I think you're going to go into different environments. And if you want to play at the best level, you got you to gotta tough it out and, and, and win at these environments. So I think uh, we have to just get over that hump. I think the last win here was maybe two years ago when they scored an own goal. We were down a man. But, uh, yeah, uh, the win was there for us today. Next, we go to Dan. Uh, Sean, how dif difficult is it that uh, you're not able to ba go back up to third in the Eastern standings with this uh, defeat? Yeah, I think that's that's a, a tough kind of kind of realization. Um, seeing the standings beforehand, and, and we could kind of separate ourselves from you know the the bottom half of the group, and now we're kind of just uh, laying there in the middle. But um, it's a, it's another big week ahead, going back home uh, against Nashville. So um, we're we're all going to be excited and up for that game. Uh, we've we've been dominant at home this year, and we want to continue that trend. Everyone, we have time for two more questions with Sean. First, go to Christian, then finish up with Gary in the room. Christian, you have the floor. Hi, good evening, Sean. Can you just talk about the sequence that led to the goal, uh, New England's goal? Was there any miscommunication? What could the team do better? Yeah, I think uh, we we were a little late in getting back and 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 kind of uh, dealing with them. But I think uh, they they made a good play. Gill's a good player, and he found the open man, and uh, they had a nice finish. You know. Um, Teams are going to get chances, and, and they, they buried their one chance. I think uh, we, we can do better defensively. I think maybe if I could get back and, and defend that far post, I, I could do better. And um, But it's it's part of the game, and I think we will learn from it. And we'll finish up with Gary. This game is done and dusted. You've got Nashville coming up at home. You've been dominant there. What's it going to take to keep, to keep it going rolling? Now you have seven games at home unbeaten, and you want to make it eight, knowing that the, um, Nashville is coming in to kill that streak. Yeah, Nashville's uh, always a tough opponent. You know, they, they'll they'll sit they'll sit in, but they they got a kind of new mentality with a new head coach, and uh, you know, guys uh, ready to play for that coach. And I think uh, we have we have to be ready to play. We have to kind of keep this feeling of uh, you know defeat after the game here in New England in our minds, and kind of help it motivate us going into this weekend that we don't want to feel this again.